So I wanted to do a brief video on one of my favorite calculators, the Brown ET23. This calculator was designed by Dieter Rams and his protege Dieterich Loops and was on the market for two years from 1976. The ET23 was the second generation Brown calculator. The previous generation was the ET11 and after came the ET55 which had an LCD display and upon which Apple based the design of their iPhone calculator app. So the calculator comes in a simple plastic case with only a brown logo on the front. The case has side grooves which makes it easy to pick up and has a fine textured grain that makes it easy to grip and almost gives it a leather-like feeling. The case also has uh, feet to prevent it from slipping on a tabletop. And so to pull the calculator from the case there are uh, cutouts on the on the front and back uh, for your thumb and index finger. The calculator only fits the case in an upright front facing orientation so when it's removed it's always immediately ready to use. The calculator itself has a plastic body. On the back and sides of the calculator are grooves that make it easy to grip uh, and the back of the calculator is curved and so it's comfortable to hold in your hand. Uh, there's a green power switch at the top left of the calculator with grooves in it that will allow it to be used with your finger or fingernails. Uh, on the back there's also a simple instruction uh, table and uh, there's the two AA batteries are also easily accessible. Uh, there are also four feet that prevent the calculator from slipping on a table. Switching to the front face it's immediately obvious that there's a vertical um, aspect um, of depth to the design. The, name, the main keypad is flush with the outside case, but then there's a recessed rectangular uh, inset uh, with a display mode switch, a plus and minus toggle, and a bunch of memory uh, operations. Um, below the recessed panel is actually the uh, display uh, behind a transparent panel of plastic. There's also a legend uh, that is raised above the display. Uh, because the display is recessed, you can't actually see it unless the calculator is f uh, facing towards you. On the main keypads, the buttons are circular and color-coded. Uh, so black buttons are digits, the brown buttons are operations, and the yellow button is the equals key. An interesting aspect of the buttons is that they're domed and convex. Uh, so this differed from the ET11 where the buttons were concave and this style was made possible because of the reduced pressure required to push the, these electronic buttons. The buttons are quiet uh, but also satisfying to press and are nicely spaced out. The calculator has a green vacuum fluorescent display or VFD uh, that can display eight digits. There was also another model available with an orange VFD the digits under the display are now slightly slanted and there's always a decimal point displayed even on an integer number. The display format switch is grooved uh, and again can be switched with your finger or just a nail. So the left setting of the switch will display the maximum number of decimal places. Uh, the middle setting uh, is uh, for just um, integers and the right setting will round numbers to two uh, decimal places, I guess for uh, financial calculations. Uh, to the left of the digits is a side panel that can display a number of glyphs. Uh, there's a minus glyph for negative numbers, uh, and there's a U-shaped glyph that indicates that there's a value in a memory register. There's also a C shaped glyph uh, that acts as an overflow mode for large numbers. So for example, if I multiply 1 million by 10,000, uh, I'll see the C and the number 100. And uh, that 100 is at Mantissa uh, and it indicates that it needs to be multiplied by 100 million. Uh, the row of keys uh, below uh, the toggle switch um, are for using the memory register. So I can uh, add an element to the memory register or, or subtract. Uh, I can recall the memory register or clear the memory register. 
The typeface used on the calculator is as Eskadence grow to spec. So Eskadence is the German word for commercial and grow to spec broadly means sans serif. So, um, Eskadence grow to spec was favoured by mid-century exponents of the Swiss style and used almost exclusively by Dieter Rams. I've read also that the size of the fonts on some of the keys were adjusted subtly to be proportionate to the size of the buttons. So again, I really enjoy the design and function of this calculator. Like all brown products of the time, the design was based on muted colors, geometric forms, and functionalism. It is minimalist, but it also has real character, and it's a clear example of Dieter Rahn's philosophy that ele uh, electronics should be humble servants to be seen and heard as little as possible. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful.